today's project, I used a men's dress shirt that I thrifted to create a summery ruffle top. To get started, I start by seam ripping the shirt completely, making sure to have as much fabric to use as possible. After that, I just like to iron out all the pieces of the shirt so that they're ready to use. So I start using the back side of the shirt. I just fold it in half and separate it along the bottom and then create two large rectangles. So I'm doing pretty much the same process for the entire shirt, just creating a bunch of rectangles out of all of the pieces. So the rectangles are all going to be different lengths, but I made sure that they all had the same width and this is just because I'm going to be piecing them together afterwards. I line them up so that they are one and a half times my upper bust measurement and once I have those pieces, I just sew them all together to create one large rectangle. So then go ahead and finish off the side seams as well as the top edge, but I leave the rectangle open for now. So I just turned over that top edge one and a quarter inches and I'm sewing it right along the bottom using a straight stitch. So just over a quarter inch above that line, I'm sewing another straight stitch all the way down so that I can create the elastic casing, but above that there's going to be space for a ruffle. So now I'm prepping my bobbin for my shirring, so I just take an empty bobbin and some elastic thread and I wind it up by hand until it's full. I also needed to tighten the tension screw on my bobbin case to get my machine to shear properly. Once I had that, I inserted the bobbin by hand and pulled up the thread manually. I begin my shearing just below that line I stitched for the casing. So I go ahead here and I'm stitching my shearing lines just about 3 eighths of an inch apart. I continued my lines of shirring until I got about 3 inches away from the bottom edge of the shirt. Now I'm just folding the fabric in half and I'm going to sew it together along the side with a straight stitch. But I first need to take apart that casing line right at the very edge just so that I can unfold the fabric and stitch it straight all the way down. After I sew that together, I can then flip over that casing again and going to sew the upper line of the casing and I'm leaving the bottom open just so that I can insert the elastic. So using a quarter inch elastic that I cut to be a couple inches smaller than my upper bust measurement, I'm just attaching it to a safety pin and feeding it all the way through that casing I created. Once both ends are out, just overlap them about an inch and I sew back and forth using a zigzag stitch to secure the elastic. Then we can go ahead and sew that bottom line of the casing closed again once the elastic's all tucked in there. Now to make the bottom ruffle of the shirt, I'm doing the same process as the top, just sewing all of the pieces together to create one large rectangle with whatever is left. Then I finished off the top and bottom of this rectangle but I realized it wasn't quite as long as I wanted it to be, so I just folded it and cut it straight down the center so that I would have one really long rectangle that was a bit more narrow. And then I just attached these two pieces together using a straight stitch. 
Once I have this really long rectangle, I just put my shearing thread back into my sewing machine and I sheared two long stitches all the way across the top of that piece. And this is just to gather it so that I can attach it to the top ruffle of the shirt. After that, I just close it so that it makes a complete circle and finish off the bottom of that edge. I go ahead and also finish off the ruffle on the top part of the shirt so that I can attach the two together. So this is what I have at this point, so I'm just going to attach them together. And to do this, I mark four equal points on the bottom ruffle and I mark four equal points on the top ruffle just so that I can match these points up and sew the bottom and the top pieces together evenly. So I go ahead and sew it all the way around with a straight stitch. I am using my shearing thread again, so just make sure that you sew on the right side of the fabric if you are doing this as well. Next, I finish the hem on the top and bottom ruffle by turning the fabric over one quarter of an inch and top stitching it down. The last step was to make the straps for this shirt, so I just used whatever fabric was left over and I cut it into four equal rectangles that were about two inches wide. Once I have my four equal strap pieces, I'm just folding them in half horizontally and sewing across the bottom with a straight stitch. And at the end of the strap, I just sew a diagonal line so that I can have a nice pointed strap. Once I have that, I turn my straps inside out, and then I just iron them to make sure that the seam was on the bottom and that pointed part was up. So I tried on the shirt at this point and marked with safety pins where I wanted the straps to sit, and then I just sew them above and below the elastic in these points. Once you have those four straps sewn, just tie them together and that finishes up the shirt. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs. 